I wanted to tell you about uh, the bald cypress tree. Um, this is an example of it behind me here. So bald cypress trees are conifers. That means they are in the cone bearing family. Conifers predate flowering and fruiting trees. So their method of reproduction is um, it's actually with cones. So they are related to our pines and our cedar woods. Cypresses are a uh, fast growing tree. Um, they can grow up to two feet a year as they first start. And some of the oldest bald cypress trees uh, have been recorded up to 2000 years old. So they're a very old tree. One of the things that makes the cypress tree unique is how it is water loving. It is hydrophilic. Most trees, if they are submerged at their base underwater, they will start to drown. They're, most trees are not equipped to uh, grow underwater, whereas the bald cypress is actually specialized in growing. Um, it can grow underwater, it can grow at the water's edge, so it is a water loving tree. Cypress trees have a unique feature that is called nematophores or uh, commonly called cypress knees and they're uh, part of the root system and it's unique among trees in that this root actually grows up. They are uh, hypothesized to help aerate the root system. Of course all trees the roots do need to get access to oxygen, so that's probably helpful in that way when it's submerged underwater for half of the year. And it also is a, a form of stability for the tree. Well, they, uh, of course, provide a habitat. There are many animals that would like to live on a bald cypress tree. Of course, it's a perching opportunity for many of the migratory birds that fly through here. They also provide a food source with their cones. So it may not look very appetizing to us, uh, but squirrels like to eat these. This is one of the, the cones from our bald cypress. And it actually, you can see it where it started to be get nibbled on. And inside of here, there are actually many seeds. So this is a food source. I've been seeing squirrels munch on um, the cypress trees uh, cones frequently the last few weeks. Cypress trees are not just good for wildlife, they're good for people as well. So cypress trees are rot and pest resistant. That means that whereas other wood would tend to rot due to the weathering um, in Florida, the cypress tree is rot resistant. So it was actually used by Native Americans to build canoes and it was used by um, early uh, pilgrims to build their homes and other ships. So it is very heavily used for our, our structure and our lodging as well. Mm -hmm.